Alright, so when I made my I went to lose video, there was a take I said that might have rubbed people the wrong way. And as much as I don't want to defend Mr. Wardrobe Malfunction over here, because fuck, Zhao literally has worse drip than Bennett. And now I've gotten some people curious about my taste on certain character designs, so I'll be covering that in a bit more in this vid. I'm going to lose a lot of friends and subs from this, but regardless, let's dive in. Hello there, Flip here, and today I decided to kill all my viewers trusting me by making a drip tier list. I think it's kind of funny how one offhand comment turns into me having to make a whole video on it. Speaking of comments, which is what you do on YouTube, as well as being able to comment on a video, you can also like it, which you should do if at any point during the video you're entertained, and maybe also consider subscribing. Now back onto the drip tier list, which is what I'll be dubbing it. The way it's going to work is that there are three categories, drip, basic, and no drip. That's about it. I right, going from the most recent characters, which means we'll be starting with Yai. Her design is pretty simple since she's a shrine maiden with booba. There's nothing really outstanding about her outfit, but there's nothing glaringly wrong. Yai is just basic. Now, ooh, that's a woman. She's got the hip windows. I would love to shove my hands down. All the feather things flowing from her outfit is also really cool too. The colors all match as well. Shenha is drippy as fuck. I'ma just say that I love Yujin's design. It's like the most aesthetically pleasing thing. Her eyeshadow is cute. I love the balls on her head because you just can't go wrong with balls. Her design is overall nice. So of course, I have to give Yujin the drip jacket. Okay, now Ito. A few months ago, if you asked me if Ito had drip or not, I would have said no. Good thing to know that if you asked me now, I would still say the exact same thing. Ito has no semblance of drip. There isn't a single drippy bone in this man's body, which is surprising considering this motherfucker's only bones. Can someone tell me why this man is in shackles? Why does he have a choke cord in his neck? <laughs> Bro has to be into the weirdest shit. The thing that makes me sad is that Ito from the back looks fucking amazing. If Ito was just his back profile, top drip right there. But for now, it isn't enough to carry his sorry ass, so he has no drip. No. This is surprising to me because I've never seen anyone really comment on Toma's design that much and I don't really pay attention to it. But my guy is super fucking clean. He even got a chain on. The reds go nicely together and besides the stupid fucking Twizzlers hanging from his head, Toma's got drip. Yeah, Kokomi can rock the drip jacket. It's Raiden, she's drippy as fuck. Yes, Sarah's design is amazing. Here's your drip jacket. You, on the other hand, Alloy. I don't know what they did to you, my girl, but they did not do you nicely. Okay, you, Mia, you may not be that good in game, but your design is amazing. She's got the bandage pantsu and booba. I like the hair she got going on. Also, the half and half style. And I forgot what this is called, but I like the big knots. I think it's called an OB, if I remember correctly. But that looks nice. The only problem I have with her is why is the fuck is there a grenade in her ear? Sai was just pretty bland, but it's not bad, so she's just basic. But Aika's design is clean as fuck, don't get me wrong. But there isn't something that interesting about- oh, Ignore that, ignore that, ignore that! <laughs> but yeah, Aika's just too safe for me to give her the drip jacket. Of course, my boy Kaz dripped as fuck. I, Eula. I've made this character for almost a year and I still haven't got tired of looking at her. Her cape, her tie, her thigh highs, all the colors mesh together well. This is the best design so far. Eula is dripping respectfully. I don't know what to say, so I'm gonna just put her in basic. Okay, so with Rosaria, we run into my problem, which is do I use her original skin, which I think is the better one, or the alternate skin? I'm gonna just give the position to the highest tier, which would be drip, because OG Rosaria looks amazing. Okay, Hu Tao's design is similar to Aika. There is nothing just really special about it that stands out. It's just a clean design, so this bitch is basic. Okay, it's this motherfucker's time. Cut the cameras. The reason I started this tier list in the first place. Okay, I was wrong about something. Zhao doesn't have no drip. He has a negative drip. There is no consistency in this guy's design at all. First, his bottom half got those baggy ass trousers. He also got that dumbass necklace. It looks like someone vomited on his torso with that tie dye of colors spread all over it. And then what are those, bro? He's got them Tron boots. Like the only thing I like about his design is his right shoulder. Nothing else is cool. And I know some people are going to mention his tattoos, but you know that one, you know that one test 
where there's bacteria and then someone shines a UV light over it. That's what this motherfucker's tattoos look like. Unexistent drip. Yeah, gone. you of course having the bottom half of Shenna's outfit is gonna be drippy as fuck, but... Well, the only thing I think is stupid about her design is gonna be the bell. Like, I know she's a goat and all, but why are you... Why are you wearing a bell? I albedo. Okay, this is tough because like with Ito, you take off his jacket or in this case his hoodie off and he looks worse. But unlike Ito, Albedo's design is good enough, so I'll put his imposter ass in basic. People hype up the living shit out of Zhongli's drip so much, and I'm wondering where the fuck is it? He's wearing an ugly ass suit. That is his whole design. In fact, no, I actually located his drip. It's 300 years ago in the past when the dude looked like this. Mahoyo, where is the skin? Why are we left with whatever the fuck this is? Zhong has no drip. Okay, then another hot take. Jin Yan, on the other hand, her design is fucking amazing. Her hair and all the spikes all over her body and the colors make sense. And then the drum, the drum, it just adds so much more to her design. Jin Yan's design is clean. If she was actually in this story, maybe more people would have realized. Time to lose all my friends. Child doesn't have, dr he doesn't have drip. Besides his cape, that is it. And unlike Kokomi, Child doesn't have a hot belly button. And also he's got those tight ass trousers, which I don't even think farts can escape from. I have to offer this guy no drip. Eh, no drip. Too basic. Okay, now hear me out. Venti's design is clean as fuck. Unlike some other characters, his hat doesn't just look plain stupid. And add his glowing hair and the best looking cape in the game. Yeah, Venti's dripped. Okay, this kitchen design is basic. Nothing too special, just the clean design. This, on the other hand, holy shit, she's stunning now. Has the best design currently. I'll give Kitching the drip jacket for this one. Oh, wait, I can just do this. Okay, Mona. This design is hot as fuck. This design is no. And to be fair, just because of her alternate skin, I want to give her the drip jacket. But the one thing stopping me is the hat. Why? Mona would just look 10 times better if it wasn't there. The hat is anti-drip. Mona's gonna have to sit in basic. Chi Chi has no drip at all. Okay, the Luke is just unfair. He has the freshest suit in the game, and I don't know what Mahoyo is doing, but they make the coolest looking ties. The Luke may be a meme right now because of how much he fell off plus ratio, but he still has immaculate drip. Yeah, Jean is drippy in both outfits, nothing much to say, but her beach skin is pretty basic. Sucrose ain't got no drip at all. I hope we can all collectively agree that there is no arguing. Chongyun has the best drip in the game and it's not close. All the gold accents and his colors all mesh well. And I don't know what it is, but I must have a thing for hoodies, especially when it's styled like this. And the little bracelet thing he got on just looks dope. This is a perfect fit. Noelle is pretty plain. The roses aren't doing much for me. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't think I need to say anything. So I shit on Jab because his design isn't consistent and the colors are over all over the place. And the only thing I like is his shoulder pad. But in Bennett's case, his drip actually looks good. He just doesn't have the body for it. Bennett also has the goggles and the gloves which look pretty dope. Don't get too excited, Bennett. You look like shit, but you're not as bad as Zhao. Fischl's design is really cool. Her aesthetic is nice. The eye patch is nice as well. And even though she's delusional, at least she's dripping while doing it. Yeah, nothing much to say about Ningguang. She's drippy. And now I know I'm gonna get hate for this, but I don't think her skin is that great. Jing Cho is just another case of I'm going to be sad, because if you look at him from the waist up, he's an upstanding young man. But when you zoom out, he's basic. Beidou's design is just too safe for me, and nothing really stands out that much, so I can't give her the drip jacket. I would try to assess Jiang Ling's drip, but there is literally nothing to assess. No. Uh, she's just too basic for me. Her design is way too safe. Another stupid fucking hat. So you're going right to no drip. <laughs> Kaya is another Jing Cho because the top half of Kaya is so ridiculously dripped out it's insane. But the bottom half of Kaya is basic. Amber's alternate design is actually really nice. Yeah, but she's an actual NPC in her first alpha. I have to go with no drip on this one. <laughs> Okay, now that's it. Here's the list. Feel free to screenshot and go ahead and clown on me if you want. I'm not going to order them as that would take centuries, but I'll say Chongyun to me has the best drip and Zhao was dead last. 
Also, I'd put Aito and Yulon in Drip because their designs are amazing. And on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. The characters place me and you hate the most, as I'd love to hear it, and I respond to almost every single comment. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace. Stay with me, little bitch, yeah, you know that I'm gonna make you be careful like a snitch, no thoughts, no stand, two hoes, ten toes, new guard.